Hello, today I am gonna be showing you how to brew one of the OG DeMello coffees, Dancing Goats. Dancing Goats is a delicious coffee that works well on pretty much any brewing method from pour over to espresso, to French press, to mocha pot, but it is not a boring coffee. It is a naturally processed and there's lots of very interesting flavors in there that you're trying to get out. And that's what we're gonna to do today in this recipe. But before I do that, I wanna to quickly touch on the name Dancing Goats. Lots of people ask, where on earth does this name come from? And it actually comes from an original origin story of coffee itself. The legend has it that an Ethiopian farmer was watching his goats out in a field one day and they were eating these red mysterious berries. And as they did so, they started to jump and dance around in the field with magical energy. So he collected those berries and took them to a local monk. And that is where they discovered the energizing property of coffee itself. So quite the origin story, but now let's jump into how to actually brew this coffee. For dancing goats, it is on the darker to medium side. So we're gonna use a brew ratio of one to 16 and a half, and we're going to be using water at 94 degrees Celsius. The brew ratio simply means that for every gram of coffee, we're putting in 16 and a half grams of water. I'll put in some typical recipes right up here. I'm going to be using 15 grams today. So grab your coffee, grab a kitchen scale, and weigh out whatever dose you'd like. Now, because Dancing Goats, like I said, is on the kind of darker to medium side, we're gonna want this to flow relatively quickly. The whole brew should take around two minutes or two minutes and three seconds if you look at the exact recipe on our website. So I'm going to take my grinder and from my typical pour over position, I'm going to go a couple clicks coarser just to let that flow faster and make sure that we don't over extract. All right, now that you have your dose of coffee, the next thing that you're going to want to do is get your carafe or your cup, and you're simply going to want to pre-wet the filter paper. Get out any of those papery tastes, maybe warm up the brewer a bit, and that is something that I have already done. After that, we're going to take our brewer, obviously add in our coffee. The first thing that I am going to do is do a 50 gram bloom for 30 seconds. So we're just gonna pour the water in here and you're gonna notice a lot of gases coming out of this coffee right off the bat. The aroma will be delicious. And that is because you're brewing with fresh coffee, which is the key to making a good coffee, no matter what coffee you're using. But when you're using a delicious one like that, it is even, even sweeter. So we're gonna let that bloom, we're gonna let that bubble for 30 seconds. What this allows is it lets those gases escape it's going to let the CO2 rise up and that helps the extraction. It brings out a bit of sweetness by letting those grinds soak before we continue with the brew. We're right around 30 seconds there. And the next thing that I'm going to do is add in 100 grams of water. So I'm gonna bring this right up to 150. And I'm going to give this a little bit of a swirl. What this does is it gets those grounds that were stuck on the outside of the filter paper and it settles them into a nice flat bed. Just like when you're brewing espresso, having an even flat bed is very important to have an even delicious extraction. So after that flows down for a little bit, then we're just gonna add in the rest of our brew water. In my case, I'm going up to 247 grams because I used a 15 gram dose. Use whatever amount suits the dose that you chose earlier. There we go. I'm up to 247, and then we can give this one final swirl. Again, there won't be as many grounds stuck this time, but once again, just to settle that bed. And then we just let it draw down. So like I said, you're aiming for around the two minute, two minute and three second mark for dancing goats. If you find that it is flowing a bit too fast, you can grind finer. If things are flowing too slowly, you can grind a bit coarser. However, I highly recommend you dial into your specific tastes. So if you're finding things are a bit over extracted and bitter, then speed things up a little bit. If you find things are a bit acidic, the coffee is a little bit weak tasting potentially, you can grind a bit finer and that will help to up that extraction. So mine has finished here. It did finish right around the right time. And then all you have to do is grab a cup and pour yourself 
your drink. I hope that this recipe has helped you replicate dancing goats like we would make it in that cafe at your home. Thanks for watching.